We well, know a hugely disappointing afternoon, both in terms of result and performance this afternoon. How frustrated are you? Yeah, Doug, Doug it's, it's a horrible one, really. Cause, uh, firstly, it's a poor result. It's a poor result and a poor performance. Um, but you, you look at the fact and look at, we've had four one-on-ones and we've missed two absolute sitters in the six-yard box. And Cheltenham, other than cause a bit of pressure by putting direct play into the box and the second ball was the pressure of it, Jack's hardly made a save. So, it, re- really random one that, that we've had the best chances but come off with a poor result. Um, look, that happens in football. I'm not happy about it. I'm not condoning it whatsoever. That performance wasn't good enough by us playing here at, at the Abbey. Um, but it's one game. You know, the lads have been brilliant since so I walked in the building. We had a poor half against uh, Lake Norrin that cost us a result. Um, poor second half Oxford, as in uh, didn't have game changers to, to get through with a point. Um, but today, that, that's a disappointing one. That's probably my, that's my biggest frustration since I've been here. Um, that's the biggest kick in the proverbial since I've been here. Um, we need to be better than that, that's, that's for sure. But we did have unbelievable chances to uh, win the game. And, and I always knew the first goal was going to be important. If you don't take the your chances when they come, he can come back and bite on the bum. Yeah, it was a, a big chance for Lyle Taylor, the one on one in the first half, and he looked very, very frustrated. He knows that he can do better than that, and they should have been 1 0. And, and it felt like an uncomfortable first half at times, Neil, in terms of the balls that were given away in midfield at times. Yeah, it was scrappy, wasn't it? I think that the Cheltenham make it difficult for you. They, they press high and they get the ball forward quickly and they make it about second balls. Um, we, 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 were, we were very good in one moment and then turn the ball over cheaply in the next. And one we say is we're really inconsistent. And that's not been like us, to be that inconsistent. Um, and it's hard to build a platform and the shape of it. Um, so we have to be much better with the football. Um, and that cul- culminates in the goal, really. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a poor giveaway in the middle of the pitch, and the ball ends up in the back of the net. Um, so we shot ourselves in the foot, for sure, is what I'm really saying. Um, but again, the chance we created were clear for everyone to see and, and we should have been ruthless enough to, um, you know, to win that game. Yeah, the second half, you know, a little bit more possession. There was a one-on-one for Jack, as you've mentioned. Uh, a big penalty shout in there as well, Neil? Yeah, so uh, Jack goes around the goalkeeper and, and you know, we can talk about this, that and that, but as the score. You know, ultimately, what I will say to my players, I'm saying this, you just have to score. So there's no grey areas to it, just put the ball in the net. So uh, we had Jack's one-on-one in the second half, uh, it's a clear penalty, as clear as you're ever going to see, penalty in a red card. Um, and then McCauley Bonds, two, two guilt edge chances in the six yard box. So, again, without controlling the game and, and looking like a free flow inside, we've made four absolute must goals in the second half. And you don't take them, and Cheltenham get one, one opportunity and score. Yeah, I was going to say, McCauley Bond off the bench, I mean, the quality he's got, you know, that's why he brought him to the club and he'll be kicking himself in the dressing room, no doubt, in terms of those two big chances. Yes, yeah, well, Jordan walked straight in and apologised to the group for giving the ball away, leading to a goal, and a class, class professional and player. Um, um, but my bemoan is that, that we've, we've, we've created six absolute sitters and not scored. In terms of the formation change and, and the personnel change, obviously four big changes and, and went to the three at the back, what was the thinking behind all that, Neil? Uh, we were really poor, weren't we? Ultimately, we didn't build play. We were poor around second balls. Um, I thought it might give us a bit more of a foothold, give us a chance to uh, um, have an extra player behind the ball to be able to build. And, and, and ultimately, it gave us four players at the top end of the pitch. And um, when, when you do that, you know the idea of doing it is you build the play quickly and then you play forward quickly. And the lads were too slow, um, they weren't brave enough with the ball and I'd say that was all game we weren't brave enough with the ball but certainly we made the change still weren't brave enough with the ball sometimes bravery is about taking the ball in a tight area and, and taking somebody 1v1 and sometimes bravery is making space taking a touch and putting the ball forward quickly um, the players have to make better decisions Before today we knew there was a big challenge ahead in terms of seven games in 21 days I think how much is, uh, focus is there now on reacting on Tuesday and obviously it's a, a huge challenge away at the league leaders? Well that's it, yeah, today, today's a, you know, a real disappointment for us um, but we've not, not had many of them in the last couple of months so you know, we have to get over this, have to see a reaction from the group, have to see what the group's made of individually and, and collectively um, and see how they respond on Tuesday. Um, that falls on me by the way, as the leader of the group, to make sure I get a response on Tuesday, and that, whether that's in team selection or performance. Um, but we have, we've got, we've got a, a, a tough challenge Tuesday, but what a fantastic opportunity as well. No expectation to go to Portsmouth. A real disappointing performance today in result, um, and we certainly have to bounce back.